fraud because I call this the Philadelphia series, but I haven't really been in Philadelphia. And today's no different because today we're not even in Pennsylvania. Is it right? Now ish. We're in New Jersey. That's nice. Maps lady welcoming me to a new state. We don't have that in England. Never had a welcome to Yorkshire before. We're looking for a place called the Kibitz Room today. Here we go. Just need to park up somewhere now. 55 minutes to finish a giant deli sandwich and some accompaniments. If you do so, you get the meal free and a t-shirt. They're pretty generous with the t-shirts out here. What have I got now? Like four t-shirts? This is the spot. You want to do the, um, the challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's oh, okay. That one. Oh. YouTube channel's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. This is it. The uh, the GBMF challenge. Don't know what it stands for. Maybe I'll find out afterwards. You can order it to share. Uh, it's 95 bucks. <laughs> but if you finish it by yourself inside 55 minutes, it's free. Somebody just ordered white fish salad. If you remember, that's, I think that's the last time I did something that wasn't in a restaurant, maybe. Was the Larry David sandwich, which contained whitefish salad. And it was awful. I'm sure theirs is really nice. Hi. Do you want to do the challenge? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, if that's cool. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Adam. Adam. Hey. <laughs> Adam. That is a large sandwich. I don't know if that's going to stand up. Hopefully it does. <laughs> wow. It's a big sandwich. Oh yeah. You get 55 minutes? 45. 45. So I'm at a place called the Kibitz Room today, which is in uh, New Jersey. Somewhere in New Jersey. Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill, GBMF, what does that, does that stand for something? Great big mouthful. Great big mouthful. You get uh, 45 minutes to finish, yes. and if you do so, you, you get it free. You pay for it, you get your picture on the wall, all of fame, up there, yeah. and you get a t-shirt. A t-shirt too. You don't think I can do it, no? No? I think you can. It's like a Scooby-Doo sandwich. Yeah, man. Can I get a second plate to put the stuff on? Is that okay? I feel like it's gonna... I don't, maybe I'll, oh, thank you very much. I think that's gonna be necessary. Right, I'm gonna move the pickles. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I've lost track of which installment this is, but we're in New Jersey today. Cherry Hill, to be precise, at the Kibitz Room, doing battle with the Great Big Mouthful Challenge which is an obnoxiously large deli sandwich filled with pastrami, turkey, roast beef, brisket, and uh, corned beef, allegedly. Although, it's American corned beef, so it's not actually corn. <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to try and eat this in like 45 minutes, and if I do that, I get it free. Thank you. Interestingly enough, I think I did have a defibrillator in the back. I'd like to say because of this challenge, but I think it's pretty commonplace in uh, public areas now. I get the feeling my heart will be okay though. Right, the idea is I'm gonna enjoy this like an actual sandwich. That's the idea. Yeah, I mean, something like this, of course, is not what you would call practical to eat, but you can enjoy a few of the layers like individual sandwiches if you so choose, which I'd recommend you get the full experience. Thank you. Thank you. The right bread is actually what makes it hard. I, I, I don't know if the bread is the primary obstacle here, but uh, rye bread is a little bit... What's the word? It feels like it's stale on purpose. It's not, but it, you know, it's drier than most bread. Anyway, in case you didn't catch it at the start, you get 45 minutes to finish. It used to be 55, and uh, if you do, you get a, a shirt and a spot on the wall of fame. Fail, and it's the best part of a Benjamin, which is 100 bucks. Well, it's, it's 95, so close enough. It's a hard work. 
Yeah, the pictures I'd seen made it look significantly smaller than this, but uh, a lot of the food challenges on this trip haven't been that hard, so a tough day's graft is probably long overdue. This is tricky to eat. Clearly tricky is today's word of the day. Wonder if I've been listening to uh, Run DMC that morning. That would explain it. Probably not though. Makes a change from delicious though, I will say that. Yeah, sure, thank, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna need these. Yeah, you would think uh, on the surface that this one isn't particularly mucky, for want of a better word, but the, the bread kind of breaks up and the meat and sauce ends up going everywhere. Staff were great though, very attentive and supportive. Despite being rushed off their feet, I went at lunchtime on a Saturday, which was a bad idea. I don't suppose, do you guys have any uh, Russian dressing? Or yeah, like extra Russian. Dressing? Yeah, thank you. You could have Russian dressing with deli food. Oh, thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, you get a little bit of sauce on this, but not enough to handle the relentless slabs of meat. So thankfully, I managed to get a bit more. I don't know why they call it Russian dressing, especially given present circumstances. In England, this is just Thousand Island. And I'm pretty sure it was invented in America. So you'd think, I don't know, post-Cold War, they've changed the name to Freedom Sauce or something, but uh, Russian dressing is what they call it. It's, really, it's probably just kind of like a tangy, a tangy mayonnaise. That's probably the best way to put it. What makes this tricky is you go from quite succulent hot meat down to clap cold deli meat, and they're all tasty meats. But that change in temperature and texture makes it kind of tricky. <laughs> you just said tricky twice in one sentence, you buffoon. I think what I'm trying to articulate quite poorly is uh, that it feels a bit strange to go from hot beef down to cold turkey. Uh, the food was fantastic, but there's something about that change in meat temperature that makes it a bit nauseating. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm starting to feel it now, I think, by the looks of things. Yeah, let's get some salad down. That, that, sh that should help. A refreshing mouthful of green stuff. <laughs> There's debris everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit of a tabletop war zone going on. I'll clean it up at the end though, I, I promise. Including that little piece that flew off right at the beginning of the uh, the video. But for right now, um, I'm just putting some more sauce on there. Look at this, this is a wedge of turkey, you know. I'm also letting the cheese go cold like a, a complete idiot for some reason. How's my beard? Is it a mess? It's a mess. You can say it. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going, but yeah, it just tastes good. That thing's on its last leg. I think it's everything though. Yeah. Just chatting to a very friendly family there. The father was just uh, asking if the challenge includes everything on the table, which of course it does, uh, including the pickled appurtenances on the side there. I don't think I could have done this without a Russian dressing. Oh. Yeah, the meat gets old fast. Those big, thick slabs of it. I mean, I really enjoyed the pastrami and the beef. But once you get down to the turkey, that is a dry meat. So you need something to grease it up a bit. I don't even know what that is. That's coleslaw. I don't know what that is. Do you know what this is? No, no, that's coleslaw. Potato salad. Oh, I've got coleslaw in my eye. Right. Uh, potato salad first, I think. Yeah, I should really have sussed that, but I don't think I've ever seen potato salad this smooth before. <coughs> bigger. This looks like nice coleslaw though. Sometimes you get straight manky coleslaw, but this looks good. Manky. You are quite the raconteur. More slow, less coal. Does that make sense? Probably not. It, I, what I mean is it, it wasn't overly creamy, it was very sweet, which at this point I, I appreciated very much. No. Full? Uh, no, not, not quite. No, not yet. 
this coleslaw is delicious. I don't think I've ever had coleslaw this good. It's really sweet, which is which is nice. I'm assuming they have some kind of debris allowance here because it's going to be all but impossible to get everything up. All right, just the, I don't know what the heck that is. Pickles. Indeed, the very same that Peter Piper picked a pickle peck of. Oh no, wait, that was that was peppers. <laughs> we're uh, we're almost done now, and actually, I, I love pickle stuff. So although that kind of brininess wasn't particularly refreshing after uh, all that salty meat, I can always appreciate a good pickle. You know, these were these were apart from one of them was kind of spicy. I think it was the really the really green one. Or maybe I've already done that one. One of these pickles was was hot, which I didn't really enjoy. But the others, they were pretty good. Do you have any idea what that is? It's a pickled salad. tomato. Yeah. A pickled tomato. Or a salad tomato. We would call that a pickled tomato. But thank you. <laughs> this is the weirdest. I've never had a pickled tomato before. They're really good. Oh, they're good. It doesn't look good. Everything else looked great. This looks a bit odd. Yeah, tasted odd too. Everything else was great though. I really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do they have uh, do they have desserts here? Yeah. They do. These are really good. Yeah. I need something sweet, that was like... I hope you enjoyed that video because I'm missing the Kyrgios Tsitsipas game just to film this. I'm a huge Nick Kyrgios fan. I think mostly because I, I, I would describe myself as the Nick Kyrgios of competitive eating because he never trains and he complains a lot. <laughs> I won't always be this big, so I think medium, <laughs> med medium is fine. That's, medium. A, that's a cool t-shirt, I like it. Shouldn't really, but I've got a couple of days off now. Oh, that's tangy. There's nothing large about me, man. I'm, I'm, if anything, I'm small, maybe medium. Medium at most.